So now that we have this template created, we wanna actually render out a form. So we want to see a form actually work inside of this home view. That is, I wanna have something that has like this input type uh, equals to text and we'll put a placeholder and say URL, right? I wanna have this actually work. So if I refresh in here, that's an HTML URL there, right? I'm gonna just bring it into the middle real quick here with just some basic inline style sheets by doing width being 800 pixels and margin, margin zero and auto, and that should be a semicolon there. So just a quick inline style sheet. Um, we will definitely add in some better styles in the future, but for now I'm gonna leave it at this, save it, and then refresh in Chrome and it brings this into the middle. It just looks a little bit better for us to work with. Okay, so I wanna make this actually work. So I'll put it inside of a form tag and I'll put the method being post and then I'll just say action equals to dot. I'll explain these two things in just a second. We're gonna close off that form tag and then we're gonna put another input. So we'll do input type equals to submit, value equals to uh, shorten and then we'll close that off bring in these a little bit, so tab these in, save that, and we refresh in here. If I click on that, I get this CSRF verification failed. Now this has to do with cross-site request forgery. This is a built-in security feature, which is really, really nice. It shows us right off there, there is a template tag, so we need to check these things. And in our case, we just need to do the CSRF token so I'll paste that in there. That is all we really need to do and it needs to be inside of that form specifically. So if I refresh in here, I'm back to this home page, hit shorten, nothing seems to happen. Okay, I don't, I don't get an error or anything like that, but if I go back and hit shorten, nothing happens. So let's actually take a look at this inside of our view. Now our view only has one method in here and that is get. It does not have the post method. So if we do self request args and keyword args, and then if we returned just this render here, we can return it, save it, refresh, I hit shorten, and now it actually shows up, right? It stays there, or at least the view stays there. Um, and that's because we have this method of post, we have an action of dot, and that all that means is it's going to this specific URL. This right here is definitely talked about a lot more in TriJangle 1.8 and 1.9. So, but basically it's going to this URL instead of like ABC or whatever. It's just going to the URL that it's on. That's that main thing there. So if I refresh here, I hit shorten. Cool, nothing seems to happen. Now, this same concept here is if we did a class method, I'm not gonna show you this working, I'm just gonna explain it. And I'll just say home view FBV, so function-based view, it's gonna take in request, args, and keyword args. And we can say, have that same return render function in here. And in here now, I can say if request.method equals to post, then I can print request.post. Um, where in here, I can just by default print request.post, okay? So let's save that again, and we'll refresh in here. I'll hit shorten, and what we'll see is we'll see some post data in here with this query dictionary. It says CSRF middleware token. That's pretty cool. But now what I wanna do is actually post some URL or what the URL is. So let's go back into the home.html, and I'm just gonna add a name for this input, and I'll call the name URL, placeholder it says shorten your URL, like HTTP colon slash slash w dot coding for entrepreneurs dot com. That is a long placeholder, placeholder, but at least it's there. Shorten your URL. Um, okay, cool. So now I'm gonna actually put in a URL here and I'll do CFE blog, I'll hit shorten. Notice it goes away. Um, and then we look in our terminal, we see that our URL is actually coming through here so I actually have a URL function working. And back in this views, I can actually print out the request.post.get and we'll get the URL. I'll explain the get part in a second. 
So let's try that again. See if he blog, I printed it out um, and now it's showing it right there. Okay, so this query dick or query dictionary. So this is the dictionary that's coming through from our post data. That means it's just like any other dictionary. So some dictionary equals to that. And if I wanted to get a value in here, I could definitely say some dict value um, being like this, right? This is, this is gonna raise an error. Why does it raise an error? Because it does not exist inside of this dictionary. That key does not have a value inside of that dictionary. In fact, that key doesn't even exist. So what I can do is some dict.get and URL. This will not raise an error. Instead, it will say none. It will return none. So the default is none. Or we can even set a default and say something else, right? Google com something like that or join cfe.com let's talk about us not google nah. anyways so these two things that's the reason why we have dot get versus the other method which would be really simply like that cool now i'm going to stop here and we'll talk about this more in the next one but the biggest problem that we have here is we do zero validation we don't assume that this is, we are, sorry, we assume that this is good value. It's not good value. It's bad value, meaning it's bad values. I can't, I should not accept a raw input like this um, using request post. The reason I'm showing you it is because um, this is something, this is a concept that's really useful to see that, hey, I can still get this data, but I need to do something with this data. And that is with the form itself. So in the next one, we're actually going to create a Django form to handle validation for us, as well as make sure that the data is clean, like it's not some malicious code that's going to cause all sorts of security issues. This, again, this concept of form validation and stuff like that, we go into way more depth and try Django 1.8 and 1.9. This is really just to get this project going and, and finished. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.